Well, good morning, Blair. Good morning, Lauren. How are you? I'm doing well. Well, I got something to show you. Go ahead and show me. I'm ready for something I, new. I, I bought this book for 10 bucks from an antiquarian bookseller. Yeah. And inside were leaves of parchment. No oh, way. Unbelievable. I sh I'll show you what I mean, I've put about. leaves in books before when oh, I was a yeah, kid. Colorful right. leaves. I used to send girls press flowers, but that was a long time ago. Oh, yeah. How did it work for you? Not very well. Oh, okay. There's a picture of a flower, and I investigated this, and it's uh, from a Mexico, found in Mexico. Oh, okay. Then I saw that there were pictures of uh, females in, in nature. Okay. And, for example, these two ladies are in a, a Venus flytrap. My goodness. And look at the gaze upon the writing. It's I, very mysterious. I can't make it out or what writing would you I've use? never seen writing like this. And then this. Is that like, fold out? This folded out. Yeah. And this, it is huge. This is what I call the river of women. That's what it looks like. They're all in the water. Okay. Right. So I did a little, little, little research, and I believe these are the lost pieces of the Voynich manuscript. Really, the Voynich manuscript. The Voynich manuscript from 1904. From 1404. Yes, from 1404. So they were in this book. I would think at least 250 years. That's amazing. Before it was, it was uh, uh, dis discovered. You know, folks, you can look up the Voynich Manuscript on the Internet and um, get tons of information. But we've got something special for you. Yes, I think if we can authenticate these uh, by carbon dating, we can we can know that they're authentic. That's what I was thinking when you told me about it a couple weeks ago. We need to get these things carbon dated. And I looked it up. There are some labs we could send it to. Yeah, how much would that cost? It's about 800 Fifty dollars to a thousand dollars per sample. I don't have that kind of money. No, no. I was hoping to borrow it from Edie. Yeah, we can ask Edie for it. Yeah. In your dreams. In my in our dreams. Okay. <laughs> but it all is not lost. The Nobel Prize will be ours as if we can date these. All right. And the date matches the date of the manuscript, okay. which has already been carbon dated. Yes. All right. So if these these match. Time-wise, through, through carbon dating, you, you, is that your carbon dating device? Well, yeah. If they don't match, um, we've pretty well, much made fools of ourselves. Yeah. Well, that's but, so we couldn't we couldn't afford the to send them off to a lab. But I was looking for things on the computer the other night, doing a little shopping, just seeing what's out there, and I came across the Amazon Home Carbon Dating Kit, and you can get anything on the internet. C14. Oh, that's that's the C14 one. It was $32.50 with free shipping. But then there was a little note that said, available at a lower cost from other sellers, but perhaps without free shipping. Oh, I see. And I didn't want to take a chance of having an inferior tester because these papers are important. So I got the one that, that accurately dates all organic objects accurately dates all organic objects you can determine if it's an antique or just a reproduction which is what we're trying to do here you can check the expiration date dates on cereal boxes oh i need that at home you, you know the the single malt whiskey they claim is so old at the liquor store you can find the true age of the single malt whiskey do you have to waste any of it to put it in there? I mean, no, 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 no. Yeah, you can drink it for sure. Oh, good. And also, you know, everybody's got some problem things in their freezer once in a while. So you can actually check the edi edibility of green meat in the freezer without having to bother thawing it and sniffing oh, it. Oh, well, that's a, that's a housemaid's dream. And this was seen on Antiques Roadshow. I guess that's how they test their <laughs> antique furniture. I think that, yeah, I think those guys do. All right, so let's get the papers in a stack here. All right. And I'm going to read the instructions. See, it's, it's hermetically sealed by hermits. Well, I've never seen one of these up close. I've heard about Well, them. you know, I haven't either. It's the first time I'm opening it. Uh, but I know it's a C14 kit. No. Oh, it's pretty tight in there. And there it is. 
What? What? That's so authentic, I can't get over it. Yeah. That's the real thing. Yes, it is. Huh. It looks like... It looks like... I know what it looks like. I, I know what it looks like, too. What? Can, what is it? Can I look touch like? it? Oh, certainly. It's, it's the C-14. It's a chunk of coal. It's beautiful. It should work perfectly. You've been deceived. I, I have. This is not a chunk of coal. No? What is that? Napoleon? This is 100% pure carbon-14. No, I can't. There's it. no carbon-12 in here whatsoever. None. It's all carbon-14. For only all right. 30 some dollars. 32.50. So here's the instructions for the Amazon <laughs> carbon-14 dating system, which you can see right here is 100% pure carbon-14. Hold a tester firmly but gently against the optic of antiquity being tested. All right. All right. You want to do the, the work? Yeah, you tell right. me what to do. All right. Hold it up there so we can see what's going on. All right. All right. I'm holding it firmly. All right. Hold it firmly but gently. Maintain gentle pressure for at least 10 seconds okay, well, to give the carbon isotopes time to exchange and become stable. Okay. I feel it. Yeah, it's tingling. Yeah, they would. They would. It's a little bit radioactive, but I don't think yeah, it would hurt you. After the testing procedure is complete, then you remove the cover from the dating window and read the date. It's as easy as one, two, oh, three. Okay. I think it's been 10 seconds. Yes, it has been. Okay. Now, what is the date of the original Voynich manuscript? That was carbon dated 1405. At the Bernicke Library, they yeah. did it, and uh, it was 1404 to 1438. Yeah, they gave it a window. Yeah, pretty sloppy carbon dating. Oh, what a range! What is what is ours say? I don't know. Uh, open up the uh, window. All right, here's the, the window. I'm opening dating, the window. Dating window. Oh my goodness! What is it? 1427. 1427. It's this proves it. This, these are authentic missing pages from the Voynich manuscript. Well, I think we get should call Softbees or something because this is going to make a fortune, and, and this device and our work here will bring us a Nobel Prize, don't you think? I think it would if the folks would just please yeah. petition your Nobel committee. I'm sure if you Google Nobel Prize committee, they'll get a you can get a phone number or website and tell them. We're here night and day, having call it. Hundreds of years they've been trying to figure this out. I know. Out. There, there are thousands of people trying to decipher this. They can't decipher it without the missing pages. Without the missing pages. And now, and now we, we know that they, they this comes from Mexico. Mexico. Or South America. Yeah. Western so, Hemisphere. Well, we, we already kind of figured that because of the um, tropical nature of the plants. We knew it didn't come from yeah, Northern Europe. Right. All those plants in the Voynich are non-European plant. Yeah, so no wonder they had such trouble decoding it. So, oh boy, you know, Blair, this is... I can't get over how accurate this was. It was right to the right to the year. And right to the very most, right to the year. This, and the big high-priced labs can only give us a yeah. range. <laughs> We're... It is awesome. Boy, I tell you. I'll tell you another thing I'm glad about. I'm glad we just didn't send these off to Yale where the manuscript was kept. If we'd have done that, there would have been bands of artifact thieves. Oh yeah, vicious artifact thieves, and we would have never seen it again. They would have, they would have uh, stolen it and taken it to some warehouse somewhere and kept it locked up. Yeah, unless they put it up on eBay with the cornflake that <laughs> looks like what an Elvis. Okay, folks. Well, All what right. do you well, think, Edie? You for... Enough carbon dating for today. All right. <laughs> Well, okay. thank you, Lauren. Would you put this? That, is, this put, was work. Oh yeah, well, I don't want back. to get radioactive. Yes. Look, it. look how it, how it's, it fits so nicely in the quality foam. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm, I can't wait to find more old stuff to to carbon date. All right. Well, thank you very much. Now we know, and we, right. we have the lost choir of the Voynich manuscript right we, here. Yep, we got it made. Nobel Prize yeah. coming our way. How are you going to spend the money? Um, I'm going to buy a real carbon dating. I mean, uh, I don't know. I we'll talk that when we get it. Okay, maybe we'll get a better camera. 
All right. Or I'm, maybe we can buy some viewers. <laughs> yeah, maybe we could, we could pay, people pay people to, to subscribe. Watch All right. Yeah. Okay, folks, thank I'm you very much. Bye. Bye. Have a good weekend.